All right, Michael, what do you got? Well, Dr. Phil, we'll make this a little bit easier on you. <clears throat> what do you see as uh, the biggest stumbling blocks uh, to people experiencing more fulfillment and success in their life? <laughs> yeah, this is easy. <laughs> uh, so what's the que what do I see the stumbling blocks to getting more of that? Yes. I, really, I, I think it's a matter of getting out of our own way. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. I think all of us have what I call a personal truth something that we believe about ourselves that we don't put out to the rest of the world. You know, we all go out in the world and we put on our social mask, right? Like you and I, we're here, we got on suits and ties and we're all, you know, cause we're like, we're credible. Looking good. Uh, right, so that's our social mask. Right. But we also have a personal truth and that's what we really believe about ourselves when nobody's looking, nobody's listening. And for many of us, that personal truth can be very damaged. Uh, it certainly was for me. My father was a really bad alcoholic. We were dirt poor. And so I would go to school and compare my personal truth to all the other kids' social mask, and you're gonna lose every time. And the problem with personal truth is you generate the results in life you think you deserve. You generate the results in life you think you deserve. So if you think you see somebody that's really successful, has a great life, they're in shape, they seem to be happy, you look and you say, well, that's for other people, not for me, because I am a second class citizen. I am substandard in some way. You're gonna generate the results that you think a substandard person would generate. So I think the biggest obstacle to having fulfillment, to having joy, to having success, is whether or not you believe you honest to God deserve that. And when you believe you deserve it, you will create it. And when you don't believe you deserve it, you will not create it. And so if you've got a damaged personal truth, you have to do whatever you have to do to heal that personal truth to the point that you believe, I'm gonna claim what I want in my life. And I had to, I had to heal my personal truth because it was very damaged. And once I did, then I started having better results in my life. Thank you very much. You bet. That was awesome. Thank you. You bet.